Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, we look into the domain of two rational function. And the first rational function is x square, um, h of x equals x plus 11 over x squared minus 121. To find the domain, you need to set up the denominator equals to 0. So we're going to take that denominator, x squared minus 121 equals to 0. This is a difference of square. We can factor out x minus 11, x plus 11 equals 0. Zero product property is going to give us x minus 11 equals 0, which is going to give us x equals 11, x plus 11 equals 0, which is going to give us x equals negative 11. And then the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cross this equal sign, and that means x cannot be 11 or negative 11. That is the domain of h of x. Any number, any real number, but negative 11 or 11. Interval notation, we're going to have negative infinity, negative 11, union, negative 11, 11, union, 11, infinity. And on the number line, and if you want to start with the number line, that's, that's fine. We're going to have negative 11 here, positive 11 here, and then let's use a different color to show the domain, this part in between and the right side. Okay, this is the domain for first one for h of x. Let's take a look to the second one, which is a very interesting problem. The, dom the denominator of the function t of x is x squared plus 5. We make that equals to 0 to find any possible value for which uh, we get that equals to 0. And you may notice this cannot be equal 0. No, cannot be equal 0. Cannot be equal 0. All right? Because we have something squared x squared plus a 5. That will be always greater than 0. So the domain here is any real number. So we have negative infinity, infinity. This is the interval notation. On the number line, you're going to have to shade the whole line. That's the idea of this problem. Okay. If you enjoy this work clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.